All right, hello grade eights, and welcome to lesson 4.1, exploring relationships in the Fibonacci sequence. All right, found in your textbook on page 124, and the goal is to identify and discuss relationships within a number pattern. Okay, so take some notes, pause it, write that down, follow along in your book, and write down the goal as we go forward. This is a really short short lesson, short video, introduction to algebra. All of these terms will be explained throughout the next couple of days. So just take it down now and we will review. All right, so let me give you, let me give you a definition. All right, definition for term. Each number in the sequence is a term. So an example in the sequence, one, three, five, and seven. What's the third term? Third term here is five okay so third term these are terms these are numbers but to know what they are so designate where they are in the equation essentially okay so that's pretty simple write this down write the example okay pretty easy pause if you need to all right i'll wait all right we're back and we move on to the next slide now whole point of this lesson here is to talk about the fibonacci sequence look at these numbers Let's take a look at these numbers. All right, the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers. Let's take a look at this number. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. I'll go slower. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on and so forth. Should I go slower? 0. No, we'll be here all day if I do that. All right, so the next number. So let's take a look at the order in which these numbers are written, okay, or terms. But let's take a look. The next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. So if we take number 2, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Similarly, I think that's from the book, but regardless, 3 is found by adding the two numbers before it. So 3, 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. Now, what this is, it's it's basically a precursor to algebra, which we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks, okay? But you just have to understand this, and again, I will go forward and give examples of this in class, and we will, we will review it, so don't worry about it. Now, just as a rule, and we will be using this rule before, hey, check that out. Anyway, we will be using this rule, just understand this, okay? We don't really... Like, I've never used a rule before with this, but it's just interesting to have. Write it down, okay? Because we will be using something like this later on, a few lessons from now, next week. Look out for something like this. Okay, so the Fibonacci sequence can be written as a rule, okay? Uh, X, N, number, there's your variable, equals, so you basically, your third number will equal to the first number plus the second number. See that first number, second number. All right, minus. Now the reason minus is because it's the previous term. Okay, so the previous term plus the previous term before that. That's where you get the two from. So the previous term plus the previous term before that. Don't worry about this. This is really complex. Just write it down. Just have it. Just know it. Just see it. Look at it. Write it down. Okay, don't expect you to know this, but just interesting to have, okay, just so you can look at this. Now, again, I told you this was going to be a short video, so I'll end it off here with looking at the man. But first, write that down. Remember, number in the term, the, the, so we'll say whatever term in the sequence is um, derived from the previous number and the previous number before that. And that's where you get the minus one and the minus two. Previous number, previous number before that. Write that down. Okay, and I'll explain it tomorrow or next day. Okay, but before we end off, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Fibonacci the man. Now, being a, of an Italian origin, okay, I enjoy looking at anything Italian. All right, so let's take a look here about Fibonacci the man. His real name was Leonardo Paisano Bogolo. He lived in eight, he lived between 1170 and 1250. In Italy all right Fibonacci is not his name oh no it was his nickname which roughly means son of Bonacci okay now just something to look at just so you know that a little more about the man who 
put together the sequence that you're studying today. So let's go back and let's review your notes. Make sure you're making some, making some good notes and I will see you next day or tomorrow, whenever the next day is, all right? Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.